The opinions from New Yorkers on congestion pricing are almost as loud as the traffic in Midtown Manhattan itself. I think that this plan will be able to save lives by decreasing the levels of traffic violence currently in on our streets. Have you lost sight that we are in very tough economic times? Hundreds of people signed up to sound off at the first of six public hearings on the state's controversial plan to reduce traffic and raise revenue for the MTA. Any vehicle traveling south of 60th Street, except along the FDR Drive and West Side Highway, would have to pay a daily toll anywhere from nine to twenty-three dollars, depending on the day and time of travel. There would also be some exemptions. However, under state law, it must raise $1 billion a year for the MTA's transit projects and improvements. The high price to pay for driving would likely reduce traffic by 20%, according to estimates. While a rally at Grand Central cheered for the plan. So many years, right? Like it's been ignored, our transportation system, all the things that would make it reliable. Cab drivers and residents in the congestion zone fear the financial burden. This model discriminates against all residents in the zone who will have to pay a toll to get to their homes. And so do commuters in New Jersey. The governor says the price matrix needs work. We can't allow our commuters to be double taxed. And that's the sentiment you are hearing from New Jerseyans and also people who are in New York that could be facing uh, double tolling for anyone who crosses a bridge or tunnel and then faces more tolling here in the city. So all of those exemptions and matrixes have to be worked out before all of this goes into effect, possibly by the end of next year or early 2024.